What's up guys, Gary from the T-Shirt Help Desk here and uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go through six, that's right, six um, trends, something for you to have your eye out on on these winter months and uh, to get ready for 2015. Right now is the time to really be designing and getting everything ready, okay? So I'm going to hit you up with six trends that you need to be looking out for right about now. Let's go. Six. All right, guys, if you're really into this t-shirt game and you've been doing your research, unless you have been living under a rock, okay, you had to have seen bandana print t-shirts, okay? Bandana print t-shirts, they are everywhere. Some of these I'm going to blow up and some of these I'm just, you know, going to show you. But this is your, you know, it's a facsimile or a, you know, their own version of a bandana print. Oh, by the way, guys, all bandana prints are most likely copyrighted material. So when you look at them, they're all a little bit different. And technically, they have to be. You know, I know you probably didn't know that, but, you know, you just can't up and do no bandana. That's just like your basic bandana. Someone... um Somebody owns that print, okay? Something else we're going to talk about is um, uh, pocket tees, but, okay, this is a bandana. This right here is a bandana, which is bottom printed, something else I'm going to talk about. Have that twice. Bandana with the little thing at the bottom, I'm going to talk about that too. Uh, more bandana. 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 Bandana to win the pentagram. I'm going to get into that. Another one, black and white, uh, bandana. That's another version of the other one. More bandana. Bandana. Someone's got a 97 with a biggie on it. And inside, I don't know if you can see that, but let's let's blow this up. Inside of that print, in, inside of that 90, in 97 is a bandana print. Yes, it is. Uh, we have this bandana print, which is awesome. And it has like a... Something called a PP spray, which is like a, a, a dye that they can spray over. I mean, that just looks awesome to me, in my opinion. I have a, a multiple, a multicolored uh, bandana shirt right here. Kind of awesome. More bandana prints. I mean, guys, they've gone crazy. This is why this is the first one I've done is because when something is this crazy, is to the point where it's critical mass and it could become overkill. And when... And of course, when things are like this, everybody wants it and you can make money if you get in at the, at the way you fit in. But at the same time, when something is this popular, although bandana is uh, something that's classic and will always be here, it's really hot right now. So it may even be past the point of trying to get in. I don't know. It's up to you and where you live. Uh, more bandana. So just wanted to kind of put this out here to show you. Hey, this is a trend, and you might want to hop on it, dog on it, if you really want to make something happen to get some of this bread out here from some of these people that want these t-shirts. All right, on to the next, uh, on to the next one. Five. Now, mind you, although you are seeing numbers come up, you know, six through uh, down to one. These are in no particular order. I'm not saying that this is more popular, this is less popular. I'm just saying these are trends that I personally am seeing. You could be seeing something different, but, you know, I'm like a reporter, and I know that you guys are in this T-shirt game, so I'm trying to put this stuff out to you. So, here we go. Uh, here we go. All over prints. You know, very similar to Bandana, but we have all... This is like the Cosmos, which is awesome. Uh, this is like something. Hold on. Let's see what this is. It is, it's kind of like a Hawaiian thing going on there. Kind of cool. I have another one right here. And this one is, uh, let's pull this one up. Oh, it's, just, it's a floral. It's a floral. Cool. I'm going to get into that too. Floral with cars in it. Really, people are combining all type of crazy stuff, which is really awesome. Uh, this one is like women in a pool all over. It's printed all over. Uh, this one right here is just kind of work. Look, they look like banners, you know, those old school banners you would put on your on your wall, like college, collegiate kind of sports banners. Uh, this is Five Points, a place where people would uh, destroy public property with graffiti in the name of art. 
uh, in Brooklyn, and thank God they closed it. Um, this is a, a, a rose um, uh, all over print, and flowers are really in. I'm going to get into that later. This is just a kind of a European Victorian animal. Let's get this one a little closer. Um, and some of the originality that these people are coming up with is just crazy. I see, I see, like you can see, like the statue right there. I mean, it's all type of stuff going on here. It's, it's pretty awesome. And here's another one that they did, which is like rolls of money and rubber bands. Should never rubber band your money, people. Never rubber band your money. Because what's saying is you're closing the energy of the money off. You're closing it off. This is it. You want to have that money out and flowing, baby. You want that money to flow. Don't close it off with those rubber bands. It's a metaphysical thing. Uh, this one is like an American flag. And look at that. It's inside of the American flag is a little bandana print, which is awesome. This is a pocket tee, but it's an all-over print. This is a floral print, but it's... Uh, and some of these guys, some of this stuff is going to uh, correspond. Like some of these... Shirts you're going to see in multiple categories. All right. But this is an all over print with a, a big print in front of it. It says Fly. That's a, I think the brand is called, this is another one. Brand is called Fly Society. Um, here's another one. All over print. Another one like money all over print with uh, what looks to be a gold foil thing. You know, multimedia combining stuff. That's awesome. This is like a snake print with a print on it. Uh, this is another we see combo thing. If you can see this, this is an all over print. And then you have the uh, 52, which has an animal print in that. This is the all over print with Boyd's. You can see the Boyd's right there. Another uh, all over print. That's like, a, looks like, a, oh, that's like a beach line. I mean, awesome stuff, man. People are getting really, really original. This is an all over print. And this one is uh, floral. Floral is really in. I'm going to get into that later. Uh, and this is another all over print. It's like the ocean. I mean, you see, and, and guys, in many places, this stuff is either the the uh, the fabric is dyed and you're going to have a, a big minimum to dye all of this fabric and then cut and sew it together. Or you can do this by way of sublimation. That's all in my book. Start a t-shirt business or dye trying okay here's another one with faces on it that looks like the guy from the hangover um let me just get through these this is a guy uh, uh looks like he's in the water surfing so you can see that this stuff can cover all type of genres i mean really great really great stuff this is a, a big skull this is like a a, a a kind of a religious print here historic religious print here uh this is the this is the, uh, a guy holding up a sloth. They, these this guy has a really really some really really great stuff. This is like a sloth. It's like King Kong. Really awesome stuff. Really awesome stuff. Uh, this is like a sloth sinking the Titanic. So this is all over prints, and a lot of this is done with sublimation. Sublimation is the uh, cheapest way to go, but there's certain things that you have to know about, you know, because you can't just do it with any old T-shirt. There's a special type of T-shirt that you have to buy in order to do it. You have to get a special, uh, usually you have to go to someone, somewhere who's going to do it for you, a sublimation specialist, because you cannot get the uh, the overall, the huge coverage at home unless you have a special printer and an even more super duper special heat press, which is not the basic heat press. These things are big enough to fit the entire t-shirt underneath it. All right, they're huge industrial presses. All right, and that's all over. And on to the next. Uh, on to the next one. Four. All right, the next one. Now, this one, guys, is a little controversial because uh, a lot of people, you know, they think that there's an emasculation of men, and there is. You know what I'm saying? But what the hell does that have to do with you? If you are a man, if you are a real man, being a real man comes from the inside. Not what you have on. This is just clothing, guys. All right? <laughs> clothing cannot change what you are on the inside. I'm not trying to get all politically and into that stuff. That I'll do on my podcast. Guys, make sure you go to my podcast, www.tshirthelpdesk.com backslash podcast, baby. Check out those podcasts. But anyway, let's get into this. All right? This category is 
bottom prints and not just bottom prints, but bottom prints and this kind of a, it's an extra thing that some people call a skirt print. You know, you got these, they always talk about these men wearing skirts, right? And people getting all mad and touching out of shape. Check this out, guys. Um, once you get into the t-shirt business, you know, I mean, if this goes against your whatever, then don't do it. But if you're in a t-shirt business, you're in the business of, well, business means making money. And if people want something, got to give the people, give the people what they want. All right. Are you going to be leaving money on the table? Well, and maybe this doesn't lend itself to what you're doing. So anyway, oh yes, I talk. Okay. I talk during my video. Anybody got a problem with me talking, turn the mother video off all right and go be broke come over here and learn how to make some money anyway here we go so they got this little skirt thing down here you're gonna see a lot of them this is not a skirt thing but it's a bottom print there's a lot of bottom print and cut and sew at the bottom so with this we're gonna talk about printing at the bottom of a shirt and also cut and sew at the bottom and this kind of a skirt thing here we got another one with the skirt thing at the bottom you understand this is just a bottom print and this is looks like it's uh bears all right bear, awesome print awesome awesome artwork down there bears here's another this is a combination okay you got a combination not only do you have the skirt joint all right also you're going to see a lot of this pu which looks like pleather or leather on sleeves and on different things you probably if you go to your urban stores you'll see a lot of that i didn't really report on that Cause, but I'm just telling you that. Watch out for that. And all that's cut and sew. You have to have that made, cut, and sewn somewhere, all right? Meaning a manufacturer does that for you. You don't just buy the blank, all right? This thing down here, too. So you got the skirt popping off. Here you got another one. Let me close this. Here you got another one with the thing at the bottom. Here you have another one. Now, guys, I know, now this one is not a skirt. This is just a bottom bandana print. This is another bottom floral print. And here's another one, which is cut and sew at the bottom. Wouldn't call that one a skirt, but this. And guys, I know here's another one with the print at the bottom. And not every print at the bottom thing is a skirt. It's only when it comes down, like past the waist or something, is it kind of like the skirt look. And guys, I know a lot of you don't like it, but if you're seeing it this much, that means that people want it. And if people want it, that means they're asking for it. And if people are asking for it, that means they're spending money for it. All right? Learn how to make money, guys. All right? Um... Here's another one. This is the, a bandana print, you know. So you see that these things overlap. This is Biggie, and you got the bandana at the bottom. But that's not a skirt, though, you know. This is another one. You got the animal print, which is popping. You got the the PU, um, PU meaning polyurethane. Um, you have the PU, um, uh, you know, faux leather on the sleeves and on the pocket. Now you have a pocket tee trend. You have the faux leather trend. You have the animal print trend, and you have the skirt trend, you know what I'm saying? Here's another one. Floral, florals are in, so you got the skirt and the floral, okay? All right, about now, underneath right here, you got the geometric stuff, and you got the print, the skirt joint, right? Money. This is not a skirt, but this is just a bottom print, all right? Things at the bottom of shirts, popping. This one right here is like feathers, and it's a raglan, which is also in bottom of the shirt, okay? Here's another one, bottom of the shirt. This is another one, but it's the bottom printed up, you know, and uh, that's that, man. So look out for that. That's something big. That's something that you need to know about. And uh, I'm a reporter reporting to you so you can maybe implement this into your line and make some money. Three. Yep, yep, yep. And yes, I'm coming with that fire. This is something else that's going to be very controversial but at the same time now this may go against a lot of you people's morals a lot of you people's uh belief systems a lot of you people's everything and i'm not mad at you on that okay but this is a trend and i must report it because it's out there and people are making money okay so i'm just gonna leave it at that you know you just understand that this is the trend and this is the occult trend okay it's something that was made relatively popular by a company called black scale i did a, a a case uh case study on them before and they are blowing up making lots of money and wherever there's somebody doing something in this industry there's always somebody's gonna be like hmm oh you're making money off of that well i can too 
That's how the industry works, okay? You can have no, nothing is sacred, nothing is yours, nothing is your own. That's how the industry works, okay? People, if there's a trend and people making money off something, whether it's skull shirts, wing shirts, all over print, whatever, if you have success, people will follow because they want a cut of that money, all right? Don't hate the player. Don't hate the game. Learn the rules so you can win. I got that from Glendon Cameron. Shout out to Glendon Cameron. All right, so... Here we go. Occult, guys. Occult. Now, occult does not mean satanic. It can it can mean a part of it can mean satanic. It can be has to do with Satan, but occult just means hidden, guys. So, so there are some things I'm going to show you that may be a little bit on the satanic side. You might want to stay away from that because I damn sure going to stay away from it. But occult just means hidden, guys. All right, here we go. This one right here is uh it's like a pyramid with an all-seeing eye all right stuff has been around for years and a lot of people have taken ancient comedic stuff and then used them in their things which are kind of bad and that people haven't got it mixed up to where they think that anything that has to do with pyramids or hieroglyphics is bad and that is not true that's so not true but anyway all-seeing eye in the pyramid there you go here's another all-seeing eye in the pyramid the company's called Loser. All right. Here you go. You have you have the uh, five pointed star in the hand. All right, which is uh, um, occult imagery. You have another one here with the five pointed star. All of this is occult, big time, baby. Now this one right here, straight up and down, says Satan's workshop. All right. I I, I mean, I'm just reporting this, guys. I'm I'm gonna get it off my damn computer when I'm done, but I gotta report it because you know it may mean something to somebody. Here's another thing right here, which is uh, has to do with occult occult uh, symbolism. Here's another one right here, which says death. You know, crazy stuff right here, but I gotta report it. Uh, and you see that not just this one is black scale with the pentagram. Now that pentagram is a little bit on the the devil, Lucifer, the devil. Um. And you'll see that there's not just black scale doing this. A lot of people are doing this, man. Upside down cross. Oh, my God. You know, people are doing this stuff, man. This is the all CNI and inside of a record, That's, which is kind of cool. That one. Uh, here's another one, which is the upside down pyramid. And you have the bird, which is, uh, uh, I don't know if that's an owl. It's definitely a, an occult symbol. Uh company's called Misunderstood. And uh, this one is by, this one has the Masonic, um, hold on, this is the brother from, uh, oh man, Mob Deep, this is a Prodigy from Mob Deep, I believe he has a, a line, and this is the Masonic, Masonic um, Mason, the, the square and the compass, and uh, that is is something. It's like a mask, and it's something in there. It's like buildings or something. And I just wanted to show you guys that. You know what I'm saying? I know this is you know so a lot of you guys are not touching this with a ten foot pole, but some of you may have to. And if you can see by so many styles that this is in. So I'm the reporter. This is T-shirt help desk, and I got to give it to you. All right, Gary T-shirt help desk. On on uh, uh, on to the next one. Two. So after that, I thought we'd lighten it back up a little bit. So we're going to get, this is real light right here. This is earth, plants, botanicals, flowers. Okay, floral. The floral trend is really, really big. It's really in right now. It's kind of a combination of a couple of like the all over prints um, and another one, which is the raglan. So I'm going to show you this. We're going to get into this. This is a side view, brother with, with the uh, all over print, floral. Here's another big print. Just flowers. Here's another trend that's happening real big, which is the raglan tee, which is the baseball tee. And you got the flower print. Okay. And mind you guys, this is cut and sew. You're going to have to have this cut. You know, the, the, these aren't just blanks that you buy. I mean, you may be able to buy it, but anyone else can buy it. But if you want your original flowers, you're going to have to have this cut and sew. That's a whole other thing that I'll talk about, which is where you go to a manufacturer and have your actual blanks made, okay? That's going to take a little bit of bread. It's going to take a little bit of bread. A little bit more bread. Every All this stuff takes bread. Bread meaning money. All right. Showed you this one before, which is the cutoff, um, which is the uh, cut and sew. Showed you this one also before, which is uh, all over print. And it's got big flowers on it. 
don't know if I showed you this one, but it's got the big flowers. And check out how dope this is. It's got the flowers around. And this is no doubt a sublimation. It's got the lion in what well, is that? Cheetah? It looks like a cheetah. Cheetah in there. The cheetah eyes. Great, great, great print. I showed you this one before, which is the flowers. But I'm just showing you that this stuff is in flowers. Cut and sew with the flowers. This one I showed you before. Flowers. You got the flowers with the big three on it, the print. I mean, this stuff is really in. You got another raglan with the flowers. Here you have a tank with flowers. All right, so flowers are in. If you can see by all these styles that flowers are pumping. So this is something that, it, 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 now it, it, it may not lend itself to um, what you're doing, but what I've noticed is that, and people may say it's feminine, but a real man, it doesn't matter what you, it doesn't matter whether you're wearing pink, it doesn't matter whether you're having flowers. A real man, manhood comes from the inside. It comes from your heart. It don't come from nothing that you got on, man. You guys need to get over that stuff, man. All right, so that's that. On to the next. On, on to the next one. one. All right, now this one has been going on for a while. If any of you guys have gone into your stores, you've seen some of this stuff. This and they use all type of photographs. Some of the most prominent ones are like you know they'll use like Mr. T or Michael Jordan or some of these double XL photos and they'll change it around. But these I call this big face. You know, big celebrity, big face. Celebrities and big faces where it's less like a big photograph T, just big on a shirt, okay? So this one is Michael Jordan. This one is a whole bunch of faces right here. This one is someone on a bike. Really awesome. This one is Danny Glover from Lethal, the Lethal Weapon series, you know? Uh, this one is an uh, old boy from the movie Belly, which is a great scene. Remember, he was just like, I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit. Man, I, dope, 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 dope. Uh, this one is a Rick James, one of my favorite artists of all times. I'm Rick James, bitch. Rick James, awesome. Big, big face, big print. You know, just, I mean, that's just awesome. James Brown, classical music. I mean, just, I mean, it doesn't get much better. I mean, like, uh, may the both of these guys rest in peace. Rick James. And James Brown, rest in peace. But this is to show you how dope this is. This is like a kind of a pinup girl situation. Dope. Now, mind you, these are sublimation. These are all over prints, as well as this big front, big face, big person front T. All right. The stuff is in, guys. All right. Uh, another one, pinup girl. You know, American flag pinup girl. Dope stuff. What can I say about this? One of the most phenomenal crooners, soul singers, rhythm and blues, whatever, of all time. May he rest in peace, Mr. Marvin Gaye. And the fact that they bringing up just these old, awesome artists, I mean, this is this is just wonderful. I would rock the, excuse me, but I got to say it, I would rock the shit out of this, okay? Um, this one is, it looks like something from magazines, a model, really dope. She's holding up the camera. You know what I'm saying? This one is a religious image. You know, dope. This one right here is um, uh, something crazy that they put together. Dope. Call me for your free reading with her fake Jamaican accent. Uh, Miss uh, Miss Cleo. <laughs> Y'all remember that? From, I think that was like the 90s. I was like the 90s. Uh, I mean, I can't really tell if the accent is real or not, but... The shit don't sound real. Excuse my expression. It didn't sound real. Um, Rihanna and mwah, love her. And this is the big face with the American flag kind of a thing. And, uh, you know, she's smoking a, a, a doobie. And uh, that's just, I mean, this is just dope right here. And you see, this is a, a sweatshirt. And it's but the same thing, big shirt. Iron Mike Tyson. It's a big one. The big faces, y'all. Big faces are pumping. So I just wanted to show you guys that now we're going to get into a few uh honorable mentions okay and uh there we go on to the next on, on to the next one all right guys so the first honorable mention we're going to go through is the long sleeve tee all right and especially since like guys it's, it's damn near november and I know you guys are still working on T-shirts and still want to sell T-shirts, and they will sell all year round, but a long sleeve option is dope. And a lot of the long sleeve options, like this one, 
is based on like these kind of racing, like racing motifs, like the the racing stuff that the NASCAR guys wear, which used to be big. It was big back in the '90s, and now it's coming back. Everything old is new again. So something that you can do is go look at old magazine, go look at old stuff, go look at old TV shows like Martin or whatever stuff from the '90s, and see what they were wearing. And you might could bring some of that stuff back, man. And you'll be retro but new and dope and unlike everybody else at the same time so just a little food for thought so um this is more of this racing stuff okay this is a uh all over print but look long sleeves this is another one this is wu-tang's brand and this is more long sleeves okay then then trying to be like the motorcycle racing see long sleeve t-shirt this one is trying to look like a uh, hockey jersey got print across the bottom printing on the sleeves Getting go, printing going across like a hockey jersey, long sleeve. This is another one, long sleeve. This is the eight and nine company. They're also doing, you know, kind of the racing thing with the little advertisements on it. Okay, something to think about, guys. So that's the first honorable mention, which is uh, long sleeve and racing motifs, racing and sports, you know, motifs. All right, or you know, little designs. Next one. Okay, the next one is. Something that has been around for a while, but it's something that you can do relatively easy, which is pocket tees. All right. You can get one of these. I'm going to have to do a show on this. You can get one of these and get you make sure you measure the shape and size of your thing. Get a a, uh, a heat press, a, 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 a custom heat heat transfer. Put it right over that bad boy. Slam that heat press down and boom, you got one of these real quick. OK, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it, though. And, and you know so many i mean i'm but a man so much time i have but anyway these are pocket tees and and look long sleeve all right so it's um they have designs that take up primarily the pocket this one is a sleeve too but pocket tees this one is a bandana tee but pocket 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 this is that's an all over but pocket pocket and sleeves pocket cut and sew all over with sleeves these are cutting so but pocket, pocket, pocket. Well, that one's pocket and the skirt joint. Cutting so pocket, 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 pocket. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys that. All right. Pocket tees, printed, something dope on the pocket. On to the next one. And the last honorable mention is, and these are these are dope. Um, if you can get them and you can find you some really great um, uh, blanks that are already done, or you're going to have to cut and sew your own blanks and get go to a manufacturer. I talk about all of that in my book, but here we go. Nothing but raglans, baby. This animal print raglan, uh, raglan, raglan, print raglan, print raglan, raglan. Right. And ra a raglan like this, which is basic black and white, you can get those like anywhere. Tons of people doing tons of people doing. Just look up raglan blanks or baseball tee blanks. Uh, here, here you have another trend, which is the, once again, the bandana again, raglan, the floral raglan, snake print raglan, this one raglan, tons of raglans out here. And that, my friends, is it. All right. That is your trends. And I hope this was helpful to you. All right. Get out there. Do something dope. 2015 is coming. It's just two months away, guys. It's almost November. You're going to have Halloween is like in a couple days. Then you have Thanksgiving, then Christmas, New Year's, and all of a sudden, baby, it's springtime. So get ready. I will talk to you all soon. May God bless each and every one of you guys on behalf of T-ShirtHelpDesk.com. And on behalf of the t-shirtpages.com, my name is Gary Taleb Ajane. I bid you a farewell. Remember, I love you, and ain't a damn thing you could do about it. Cheers to your t-shirts. Peace. And I'm here today because I want to talk to you guys about something, okay? I want to talk to you guys about something that I'm doing, it's something I've been working on, and it is my drum roll, please. Podcast. That's right. I'm doing a podcast. I've decided to, you know, go to the airwaves or whatever and, uh, you know, kind of talk to you people. You know what I'm saying?